Well, hello, YouTubers. I have something special for you today. Uh, <clears throat> I want to point out, I'm making another walking stick, but this time <clears throat> I want you to see if you can see what I see. We have a dark inlay. I don't know what caused that, but on this stick, it's a very light, kind of a light wood. I have it dried out real nice and the bark just fell off of it. So <clears throat> I noticed at the top, it has this dark colored wood and it swirls right around like this. The head is at a slight angle, his hair coming back this way and the beard sweeping right around. I think everyone can see that. On the other side, uh, I see where it could easily be another uh, face fit in there. And I think this is a two-faced stick, to tell you the truth about it. So let's get started and see what it looks like. Now, I don't know what this is going to look like, but I tried to get the camera in a position to where he was sort of looking over my shoulder. And maybe that will help because I'll tell you what, if you get a Dremel tool and, and uh, just two, a couple of burrs, you can do anything that I'm doing. And I'd like to, to have you, uh, I'll stop and make comments. I'd like to have you watch as I go, but there's nothing like, like really doing. So if you don't think you can do that, and don't try it just because you don't think you can do it, then you will never be able to do it. But go ahead, surprise yourself. Practice a little bit on some scrap wood so you get used to not carving a finger or two along the way, but uh, control and hanging on to the drill and paying attention to how it tries to run away from you. And uh, once you've accomplished that, just start cutting lines, draw a little picture on the, on board there, and go with it. And that's how I learned to do it. And uh, I believe anybody could do this with no artistic ability whatsoever. It, it takes just some practice, that's all. And if I can... Uh, teach just a few people to how to do this, then I've accomplished my mission. So let's get started. I'm gonna put a face on here and we'll take another look. I wanted to do more talking about my first face so I didn't record much of the first. I'll show more of the actual carving on the second. Okay, I had to turn the stick around get it finagled around where you could see it. But you see the face that I saw in there, it was curving around and kind of head sideways and flowing back down. And that went with the grain that was already in the wood. So there's not much artistic ability. The wood really was the artist. I just carved away a few things, shaped it up. But now, I, I don't know if that justifies. We have the beard, I mean the mustache coming down this way. You wanna get it about the same size. Now there's some detail work. I gotta do a little bit around the nose. I'll get a like a sanding uh, burr, not as aggressive. Uh, it'd be like this, it's a cuts all bit. And I'll use that for detailing around the nose, the nostrils, and smoothing up there. And then I'll get a different bit and go around and make the hairs um, on his, on, on there. Now I think on the, on the top of the head, I'll probably put a crystal up there. Like that's just kind of my thing. And I'll have, uh, this one has very bushy eyebrows. And uh, so there'll be a little detail up here and I think we about have that one where we want it. And uh, it's going to be kind of on the side of the stick. If you're, you're looking now at kind of the back of the stick, right the hand, the way the curve is going to be, 
it's almost you can from the side from the front you can almost see the profile of this little guy so let's continue on and see what develops here Now I'm putting in one of the three bits I was talking about. This one is kind of a square, like an end mill type, um, something like that. And you use the corner of this to cut hairlines and get a little detail like that. So I'm going to do that now. Eyebrows. Okay, we, so we decided we're going to make a, a man on the other side of this. So what we'll do, we look at the perimeters. So I'm going to curve the center line up to right, right in there. That's going to be my center, and it's going to go right down this way and maintain the center of the stick we down into here now his beard went down to here so i don't want to go past that right there with the with the beard now we say we want the, the nose to be bottom of the nose right in there the mouth right there bottom of the nose right there so the nose will go something like this at an angle. At an angle right here. And with the eyes to go right straight across. We can give him kind of a a stern look if we go that way. So I'm gonna go, there's a center. A 
and then the forehead, the hairline will be right here, and the mouth. Right in there somewhere. Can we see that? Let me get the stick around here, boom, bang. Uh, there we go, that's what I drew on there. You see the, the uh, eyes slant up this way. And then the nose, fairly wide. A lot of room to work with the nose. You got the mouth position and the top of the forehead. Now what we want to do is we'll always cut deep all the way across here and up and then deep all the way down here each side of the nose deep under the nose and then we'll start trimming the excess off so that's all there is to it Now, you see, although the stick is sideways, you can see all I did was on my pencil marks. You remember I had the eyes running up this way a little bit. Anyway, I cut real deep all the way across for those eyes. And you see what I worked on then was getting the eyes about the same depth all the way across. And then I come down each side of the nose, which I had one pencil mark. And you cut real deep in there. Don't worry about anything else. And then you come around the bottom of the nose. You get that, you get that deep in there, deep in here, deep in here. And then uh, you see I started shaping. I cut in, kind of cut out the eye, eyebrows. Go with that and uh, we'll stop again and uh, show the progress. Okay, it's time for show and tell again. Now, you see here, this established each side of the face when you level this off. You carved deeply to start with on these lines. Now I want you to see the nose. See how that nose is popped out there? Because we carved deep into here on her eye, eye uh, eyebrows, 
and then we're starting to develop the nose. Now tell me you haven't ever seen anyone with a, sort of a flat indentation coming down this way, down her nose a little bit. And we want him to have sort of a hook nose and it was going to see that started right right there and uh, we haven't developed well, once we get the nostrils in there it'll start looking a little better and we're going to have to have a, smarter, a smaller tool to kind of shape the nose around the uh, around the nostrils and I will mark that right in there so we're going to have a little indentation around both sides where the nostrils go and uh, of course the mouth is going to be you start looking at that and that mouth is going to be like that uh, he can have that or he can have a little grin on his face if you look this way and it don't take much to make a little bit of a grin on his face so you know I don't know exactly how that's going to be yet but it can come down more like this Now he has a happy face. So we can we can play with that a little bit. And his, his beard is gonna come down, or I mean his uh, mustache, regardless, is gonna come out the edge of his mouth like that. So now that gives us a little more, take your pencil mark each time. And uh, we, we've got that, got that established the eyes will be will will come around something like this and if we kind of see what it looks like with his eyes closed so let's get it started now and get on with it Okay, this time we 
got a little bit closer to the nose. You see, I hope everyone can see what I was talking about, about the nose. I wanted to get the nostrils, just a slight hint of a nostril on both sides. And we want to maintain that hook in the nose like like that. You can see quite a bit of, of a hook nose there. We haven't put in the nostrils yet, but I'm going to work on next. I'm going to work on the finishing up to get the mouth going here. I'm not sure we can do a lot with that yet. The mouth is going to be somewhat open like he's talking you see that see that mouth there like he's getting ready to say something this is a wood spirit so the eyes don't have to be uh completely perfect anyway let's uh finish this uh this side of it Now, see that brings that beard out. We're going to put some uh, pupils in his eye in a minute. Now this one here, he just got deep eyes, you can't even see them, but there, there that is. Uh, a little, little darker on the hair. What we do is take some sandpaper now and we'll touch all that up. Okay, now with our two-faced stick, I'm gonna do some, uh, some burns on it. So, we're going to burn it just in a, in a section here. I'm going to go down to that knot right there, that elbow, we'll call it right there, and uh, stop right about where I got the water. So, I'll put the rubber gloves on, have the foot pedestal in the right place. Now, we're going to get the the probes in hand. Probes down. Power on. Interesting, it's only on one end. There it goes. Just wondered if it was going to go or not. Now we just get a, we don't want to cover this up with work, artwork. We just want to get a few tree patterns on there. Not big at all this time. So that, that's growing about where I want it. And now 
rods taken off just about right. Very nice patterns there. Power off. No power overflows until I hit the foot pedal. Now we're going. cable is really nice. Uh, you have to get rid of that smoke somewhere. I know a lot of people do it outside where they can uh, have the wind blow it, but okay, power off. We don't want them to touch each other. I like to have a kind of a scattered pattern this time. And uh, let me go here. Valve pin hole here, 
I'm going to give it a little, little room. If you want to dead to this stick, I just, not on camera, but I <clears throat> took a burring tool and a Dremel and just rounded this out a little bit so the ball would fit right down in there a little better, give it a little more surface. And uh, now I'm going to take the ball itself, turn it over here, and I'll get a hole in the middle. And all we do is sift the dowels, the holes deep enough to take this <coughs> dowel, and it does. It sticks out, hits bottom there. Now we'll mix some epoxy. Use a two-part five-minute epoxy to put the dowel pin and, and uh, anchor it right down on top. Now I'll just mix two runs, a couple of, a couple of runs here of that two-part epoxy. Good enough to get on the center and around that ball good. Now I'll put some in the center in that hole. Right around there. And then I'll take my dowel and I will make sure I get I'm smearing the dowel in and out there making sure I've got plenty around that dowel. And then also, I will, on the next I'll put some on top of the stick. And I'm just uh, taking, getting epoxy on the stick. Uh, now, that'll be enough to really coat the bottom. I have a little puddle in there and I'll pull that, make sure I got some down in the hole good and I'll push it down, down on the ball like so there. And I see epoxy, epoxy all around the top of that and that will hold that thing until the cows come home. But uh, we'll be back after it's out, and I'll put a, I'm going to put a black nest in that. <clears throat> now the epoxy is completely dried. I'm going to get uh, something a little different today. I've got, I'm going to put a multicolor nest on this, and a, and a, a multicolor being red and black. And I have two four-foot pieces right here. That's what we're going to start with. And I want to catch the middle, just like we got here, and make our first knot. Just hold them together and tie them. You don't have to worry about anything else. I want that one. Well, you do have to consider. I want the, the slip knot to be right in this character's forehead close to it and then I want to go under the bottom tie me another knot right straight opposite of that just be like you're tying a shoe and we'll tie it stretch it fairly snug and tight right there now we'll come back over, tie another one down on the wood. It'll be somewhat in front where the man, the carving this time. Uh, you can put, put it anywhere, really don't matter, but it'll make a difference on how it looks. If you have a character on top of your stick like I do, I want his 
had to be there. Now we're going to go up on the stick. We'll tie that snug again. And I'm going to turn it over and see where we're going here. I have my V block. See, I have another character on this side, so I want to see how that tight. And I believe we'll come down one here and get us another loop, just like we're tying a shoe, and we'll cross that right there and that may be all I want. This is just for looks, not for strength or to help hold anything on at all. So what we do is make sure it's all tucked down tight Get your super thin uh, <laughs> CA glue. Where you can see when I tied that around, when it came around here, I let the, uh, we said now, yeah. I let that dual paracord come around and that red one got in next to that one. We're gonna cut that off and we can also come in and tuck under this one right here. So what I wanna do is just cut that off right there. Real neat, we'll cut it. Leave, leave a little bit to work with but I cut it right there. And then I cut it again right there somewhere. Should be, uh, should be using pliers here that you don't cut wire with. Now, we'll do the same thing. There you go. Not too much waste there. Now, what we'll do is get this situated around here where we can see it. In two screwdrivers now. One, you see, under that paracord there. And the other one, we'll push, we'll start pushing under that, that end under that one. Now, do whatever's necessary there. I like to hold that one will hold it up long enough to get enough to get this in tucked in. There it goes. It's going good. That's where we want it. When we get it tucked in there to where you don't see it under one of these other cords. And, uh, and this one is going to go under that black one. It don't know it yet, but it's going to go. It's going to go. It could go either one. So I can take this one and want to get it under that one. So I pry it up and then I take the other screwdriver and get it started. Wow, she went in really nice there. Now, the cords, you see how they sort of disappear the end of the cords 
kind of disappear there where you can't see them. Now where I tuck that in, I'm gonna go back and put a dab of CA glue for both of them where they go in. That will keep that from, that will keep it under there, keep it from coming loose. And it will, I'll do the same thing on the other side. Here now is a close up <clears throat> of the other side. I've got everything tucked in now to where it wraps around and the ends are tucked under to where you can't see where the beginning or the end is. And that's the main thing you want that I draft for. Just make sure that there's no white inner core showing and and you'll be all right. I have a, a little white. Another video on how I tied this. It's called uh, Paracord Wrap the Easy Way. And we continue till we get to the end. Remember, I'll have a link below to the uh, paracord wrap the easy way, and that is what I'm using today. Okay, it's time to take a look. This one comes up to about here, so you can stand very easy and put your hand on top of it like some people like to do. And uh, it's not a real tall cane. But it's a, it's a handy one. It's curved just about right for your hand to fit in. And uh, I think it's gonna make someone a real proud walking stick. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it. And uh, we gotta get busy on another one now. And I'll see you in the next video.